I am back at Ulpan. I'm back at Ulpan Gordon um, after nearly three months actually. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and it's been a bit of a slog. Um, so we are back for the first day, um, which is great. Um, I don't know how it affects flight plans and things because, you know, I was supposed to do uh, Ulpan for five months and I don't know how many hours I've used or not used or whatever. So I don't know what's happening with that. Um, but it's really good because actually I found it really difficult on Zoom to concentrate on what's happening. Um, uh, I, li I like being in classrooms and stuff, but I really dislike being on Zoom. Um, and actually I missed about a week because um, once, maybe twice, I overslept and I completely missed it. And then another time I, um, well, and, and the rest of the sort of week actually, I um, couldn't uh, do it because the internet wasn't working in my house. And hey, um, it's on for my class. So yeah, it's very exciting. I'm really happy to be back. Um, yeah, I woke up in time, um, sorted everything out, sorted the dog out, um, got on the bus. We are all supposed to be um, wearing masks. The teacher is not wearing a mask, but we're all supposed to be wearing masks. Um, and we have to get our temperature checked apparently on the way in. Um, that is the rule. And we're all going to be sitting at separate desks, so I don't know which room I'm going to be in, so that's exciting. Um, I don't have a pen. I forgot a pen, and I just went into a couple of shops to look for one, and they don't sell pens. Like, I thought like a random like, little news agent or kiosk would sell a pen, and they don't. So that's annoying, so I'm going to have to ask someone. And I'm worried that, you know, people won't want to lend me a pen because of, you know, corona and stuff. Maybe they won't want to, maybe they'll just give it to me. He said there was another one that was like around the corner and down there and blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm not walking like for 10 minutes to get a bloody pen. I'll just borrow one from someone. Um, but yeah. So I'm assuming someone will have a pen. Um, but yeah, very exciting. So I'm glad to be back. Um, I, I'm worried I've missed a load of stuff, but I'm sure I'll be able to catch up. It's just, it's just the words. I just need the words. But um, yeah, maybe I need to work a bit harder on it. Um, but we are back. We are masked or bemasked. I don't know. With mask and ready and willing and keen to get back in the classroom, learn a bit of Hebrew, and who knows. Maybe in a few months uh, I'll be able to, you know, speak it a bit better at least. I'm exhausted. I'm like, really exhausted. Um, I've had a really difficult week actually. Um, like, I think it's because I started all pun uh, back at all pun full time last week, and then I've been working. Um, and I'm just finding it really difficult um, to do both. So I'm having to consider my options. Um, it may be, so I, like to the point where I was, re I was quite sick actually, um, the beginning of this week, and missed a few days of all pun because I just couldn't get up um, and just felt like I had a headache and just couldn't, just couldn't do it. Now, I did go out and have a couple of cheeky shandies on the weekend. But I think it's just because I've been getting up early in the morning to sort myself and the dog out before I go to all pun. Go to all pun, come back one hour to sort of find something to eat. Work, until, work, work for seven hours until 10 o'clock. And then, last, last week, every, di every night, I was trying to be sociable and meet friends and stuff. And then I was going to bed at like two o'clock, waking up at six. And I think after doing that for a week and then having a, a weekend of Shandy, um, it just did me in. Um, so I ended up being quite unwell on, um, on Sunday and I missed a day of work and I missed all the pun. And then I missed all the pun the next day. So 
but it's really difficult because I want to see people and like when you're basically at working or whatever from six in the morning until ten o'clock at night you know I want to have a life and I want to see people and I don't want to like when I go for a drink I'm not I'm going for one drink you know I like just but you know by the time I finish at ten and then I sort of it's, you know, I live in Israel so it's, it's hot so you have a shower and get yourself sorted and then walk to wherever you're going to and it's like 11 o'clock you know um, so by the time you've had a you've had a drink and a chat and whatever like it's like 1 o'clock so not like long and then by the time you're home and asleep it's like 2 o'clock and I just I'm not sure I can uh, keep it up <laughs> I'm just a bit too old for it, to be honest with you. So I think I need to think about what I'm doing. Um, I enjoy, I'm, I'm enjoying all pun, mainly. Um, sometimes there's lots of people in the class. When I mean, there's like 20 people in the class and everyone's talking and I find it quite difficult to concentrate. But generally, it's going okay. Um, and I'm quite enjoying it. And I am learning a lot. So I'm going to try and see it for another week and then I'm going to decide whether I want to keep going or not. Otherwise... Also, I just need to find a job um, that can support me a little bit more. Um, or have time to sort of do other things, which at the moment I don't do. Um, so I'm hoping to pull myself together. But you know, I don't want to have to worry about going out or having a weekend of... of I don't want to have to worry about enjoying my weekend. Do you know what I mean? Um, like, oh, I can't... Like, I can't go out during the week because I'm, I'll be too tired. And actually, I can't go on the weekend because um, I'll be too tired for the rest of the week. I, I, you know, that's not... You know, I, I don't want to have to... I need a life... I need a, a work-life balance, basically. Um, but it could just be sort of post-corona thing and getting back into the swing of it. So I'm going to keep going for a couple of weeks and see what happens. And hopefully everything will be fine. And, yeah. Um, fingers crossed. Um, I'll be able to keep going. Um, so I'm waiting for the bus. I'm going to go and uh, yeah, get back to get back to some Hebrew learning. So I'm in. I'm at all pun, but I have just decided to um, postpone my um, ticket. It's actually really easy, but I just I decided. To um, I can't carry on working full time and doing all the pun. It's just too much, and I'm just exhausted all the time. Um, but it was quite easy. I just spoke to the lady in reception, and um, not reception, like the secretary, um, and uh, she said, uh, she just said, okay. She said they don't have anything now, um, but um, yeah, but they'll have something at some point and they'll call me. And it's sad because I really like my teacher. She's really good and I like my group. Um, but what can you do? I just need to make sure that I get rest and stuff. Because actually at this point, I thought I was going to be finished. And I'm not. Um, and I just need to have a life. So I'm going to start doing it twice a week. Um, in the evenings instead. Um, it's kind of sad. But it uh, needs to be done. So I'm, I've asked my boss if I can change my shift um, to the mornings at some point, sort of as soon as. Um, and I'm quite looking forward to being able to chill a little bit more and maybe have a bit more of a social life. And, you know, I came here for a better life. I don't want to spend all my time just, like, working and studying um, until, like, October, you know. Um, so, hopefully... They'll call me soon. So I decided, as I have, as I am not going to be going to all pun anymore. I have met my friend Aaron. You may remember him. Say hello. And we've come to the beach. It's actually the first time that I've been to the beach since I got here, which is kind of crazy because I live two minutes from the beach. I walk along the beach. You know, I walk along the beach. I don't necessarily sit on the beach. I'm not a very beachy person. But I do live in Tel Aviv now. So I feel like maybe I should be more of a beachy person. So yeah, so I have come to to Hilton Beach. And of course, it's not the weekend, so it's very quiet. It's quite nice. And I'm just uh, sunning myself. I don't expect to get a tan or anything. I'm not. I'm not delusional. This is the best tan I've ever had. I've been here for five months. 
Não é, 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 é,